Okay. This is um, Twin Slice Matches by the Front Bottoms. So the intro is open E, ninth fret D, play that four times. And you play that for six bars to begin. And then sixth fret, you move to sixth fret A and ninth fret D four times again. Slide to the seven, seventh fret A, ninth fret D four times. Open A and ninth fret D four times. And then you go back to the beginning. The second time you play it, everything's played for one bar each. And then you slide to fourth fret A, ninth fret, uh, fourth fret A, sixth fret D. You play. 4th fret and ninth fret two times. And then take your finger off and it's open A and 6th and fret D two times. You play that for four bars and then you go back and repeat, repeat the whole intro. Okay, and then once you get back up to here, you play that for eight bars and then you get into the strumming. And now the strumming is just power chords. So open E, second fret, A is the first one. You play that eight times. Okay, then you next power chord is fourth four fret, E, sixth fret, A, four times, eight times again. And now fifth fret and seventh fret, A. Now, I don't have the strumming exactly down for right here. You can play it eight times again. What I do is I play it four times, and then I kind of go. But you can play it eight times again, but I would suggest just listening to the song and make your own rhythm. But you, however you play that, you go. Slide up to second fret E and fourth fret A. You play that eight times. So you should go. And for that last one, he goes. He ends with one strum on the second fret E, fourth fret A. He pauses, and then he goes to the next part, which is one, two, three, four. And then he, so that's the open E and um, second fret A, didn't know. And then he goes to a different chord, which is fourth fret A and then sixth fret D. He plays that. And then he goes back to fifth fret power chord. So he plays that for, you know, a little bit. He plays that, and then he goes and does the intro again. The whole intro again. And once you get back up to, so, you know. Once he gets back up there the second time, he plays... <laughs> which is a very long time and then he goes to the heart uh, he goes back to he plays that part again for four times he plays that whole part four times and then he goes into the solo. Well, yeah, pretty much. So it's seventh, so on the A string, seventh fret, ninth fret, go to D, sixth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, then go to the G, 
six, six fret, eight fret, six fret, nine, uh, eight fret, and ninth fret on the D. <laughs> uh, so it's. Okay, and then the next part is same thing. Then eighth fret, sixth fret on the G, and then sixth fret again, eighth fret, then ninth fret on the B. So it's. plays that one time and then he goes to the new this last part which is one two three four one so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so he plays open E second fret A sixteen times and then he goes to four fret A six fret D he plays that eight times and then fifth fret E uh, seventh fret A eight times so he plays that until the end of the song and then the very last part he goes so he goes So he plays the intro again, but everything one time, and he ends it with, so he, but, well, he plays the open A, E, and 9 for two bars, and then everything's one time. And then the last thing he hits is open E, open A, and 9th fret D, he strums those both together. So the outro is... the whole song um i fucked up a lot but that was a lot to get through um got the front bottoms hoodie on when i went to see him in concert awesome i had the shirt uh, i don't have any more it's a fucking awesome shirt um and yeah i hope this helps very hard song i messed up a lot but um you listen to the song and you kind of get the rhythm for just strumming and yeah all right, have a good day.